Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Ross Chastain's Kubota Chevy for 2023. As always, take a look at the box. Once again, you have the new 2023 box. Back to the nice window box. Got the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo on the front of the box. Lionel Racing 2023 Cup Series. Got to render the car right there. Trackhouse Racing, standard finish. They made a total of 1,824 of these things. Really high numbers there for a car nowadays. Got the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo on the back of the box. And all your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. A very, very nice looking paint scheme here. This is a car that he previewed last year at Homestead and then just brought back this year for a actual kind of primary paint scheme of sorts. I believe they've had like, he has like five races or something with Kubota this year. He did just run this a couple weeks ago at Sonoma. Just a really cool looking paint scheme. The black with the bright neon orange just pops. I'm really glad that they decided to produce this version of the car, not the preview version, because the preview version of the car had Onyx Homes right there, just a big Onyx logo, not Kubota. So I was really hoping that they were going to give this the uh, 2023 treatment or just the regular Kubota car. I believe Kubota themselves is getting these diecast made because they also offered and produced Ben Rhodes' Kubota truck. I mean, it's Ross Chastain. It probably would have gotten made on its own anyways, but I feel like Kubota themselves is getting these made because I learned that Kubota has a lot of diecast in their catalog. Because when I was getting this car, I was like, oh, I want something to, you know, put with the car, put in the video, whatever. And as you can see, I have a Kubota lawnmower back there. But... They have a bunch of, like, fancy 124, 118 scale, like, of their, like, excavators and tractors and lawnmowers. And they've got, like, a bunch of diecast produced. So, Kubota seems to be really into diecast. That's really cool to see. Anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Kubota with the Kubota logo. Got Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Got Trackhouse at number one on the front. Down the side, you got Kubota. You got Worldwide Express and Advent Health back there. Got Onyx and Jockey in front of the rear wheel. On the C-Post, you have beamoose.org. That logo's a little messed up. It's like a little, there's like a line through moose, and there's like a chip on that part of the window that's a fake window. I don't know. That does not look, looks a little weird. Anyways, on the B-Post, you have Seaman, Chevrolet, Moose, and Advent Health. Got Ross Chastain's name on the name rail. Has the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo. Does have the gunmetal rims. On the back, you got Chevrolet Camaro. ZL1, got Kubota, Quaker State, and number one. I guess that does that is a good sign that they actually were able to get Quaker State on the die cast. I was curious if they were going to be able to add that or not, because that kind of came in late. On the deck lid and the roof, you have Kubota. This is number 828. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. It wants to open, which it does not. Guess we're not taking a look under the hood. That does not want to even open at all. Anyways, no deck lid. The roof flaps, of course, do open. There's the inner side of the car if you want to see that. Once again, not a whole lot top with a car like this. As you can see, here is the uh, Capota lawnmower. I don't think that scales perfectly, but uh, it's close enough. Like, <laughs> it's not. It's not that bad, honestly. <laughs> Like I said, there's a ton of diecast. If you want a like really good diecast to go with this car, you can definitely find one. Like there's like two hundred dollar like super detailed diecast from like Japan, and <laughs> there are an insane amount of diecast. I didn't want to go anything that crazy. I just wanted something that was you know a little thing to put with the car. Like here, as you can see, this is a little it's a little pullback. Said <laughs> I was surprised at just how much Kubota actually gets made. Like, I assume that you can just go to a Kubota dealer and, like, buy stuff like this. Ross Chastain has had a pretty good year diecast so far. It seems like most of the cars they've offered are getting made this year. His Advent Health, his, like, three different Worldwide Express cars are pretty sure are getting made. His uh, UPS Darlington Throwback, I believe, is getting made as of right now. Surprisingly, Daniel Suarez is Quaker State Repo Dime throwback DNP'd, or is going to DNP. As of recording this video, it's showing as uh, sold out on the website, which generally means it's about the DNP. So that's shocking. I was going to get that, but. 
Anyways, this car is a brand new release. You can get it right now. They made a lot of them, so this car is not going to get rare anytime soon. But being such a beautiful paint scheme and a popular driver like Ross, at some point I would imagine it's going to get a little rare. So this is just a really nice looking paint scheme with the black and neon orange like that. Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. And if you use the code BWAC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. Just so go check that if you want anything. But I think in trench, all there is to say, this has been a review of Ross Chastain's Kubota Chevy from 2023. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.